All right, everyone. Um, just gonna go over some stuff. One second. Okay, so uh, basically the uh, crude oil, right? It um, it worked out quite nicely yesterday. This is what I showed, and this is what happened. And I'm finding a lot of uh, value in these point and figure charts, all right? Uh, it's not just uh, I mean this, and it has to do with simplicity, but also the way you can judge supply and demand quite easily. And what I mean by that is, yeah, you use the cause, you know, the base point and figure. It basically breaks down to a couple of things. One key benefit is you can see the lines of support and resistance just by the X's at the lows and the highs. Second is you can count across a level. And when you count across a level, like here you have eight, right? Or nine or whatever, or nine. And then you can project that level, meaning the distance across can be then uh, projected vertically. The horizontal distance of X's can then be uh, projected vertically. And basically one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And it actually called the top right there. It showed that off of this base, there was enough to go to resistance. So it made it very, um, realistic to put the target at the high or right above it you know, for it to be taken and that's exactly what happened and what was even more interesting is that right after it you had the bearish change of behavior right here with the biggest vol volume in 12 um, in 12 um, columns and then 13, and then it kept on going down. And you very clearly see how supply took the market right above the false breakout of the up thrust, right? Up thrust here against the prior high. And then supply came in and then took the market lower. And as the market went lower, as it went, it went, it went, it finally climaxed here. And you had your change of behavior right there, in the biggest. Um, in 96 um, bars, biggest volume in 96. So it's, uh, what I did was I basically took the common sense of, you know, using price and volume and a way of quantifying its strength of price and volume and just put it on point figures. Totally 100% Wyckoff, right? Um, what I didn't do was put the volume on each one of these X's because I think that would be overkill. And I don't want to be stuck reading the market when it's so much easier just to let the whole thing, you know, um, just see a number, right? So for example, the market here was the, uh, went down, 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 down. You got your change of behavior here. Pull back, break out. And really, you can, um, if you want to understand point figure and kind of like read it, you just, it's only a couple of things. You have bases that project the breakout, you have support and resistance, and then you have three key behaviors, climax, breakout, and change of behavior. That's it. So it becomes a very easy way, very, very, very easy way to tell you, oh, it went to a level, what happened, buyers came in, that's the change of behavior, that's the breakout, another breakout, right? Pulls back the test, where does it go? The support level, there's the support level here, and there's the ice, I mean, the, the creek, which was tested, bounced, then went to the lower support, reaccumulated, boom, another breakout, perfect. And then finally, climactic breakout, because there's just too much price and volume up there. After that, change of behavior. After that, you have your breakout here. You know, I put this there, but that's your change of behavior in 22. Then this breakout, you had a little bounce that was preliminary buying. Why? Because it, it went to the prior area of um, you know, resistance becoming support. And then it there was some more selling, and then finally, pop. Right here is your reversal or the minor change of behavior that 
established the uptrend, boom, went up there, finally selling from the highs right there, change behavior, then break down, ding, 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 went down, and finally climaxed. And then you have your other change behavior. See, so now the pullback should hold. I mean, it's the end of the day, so I can't really say that, but during the day, this is, a, this is enough to turn the market to the upside that much. Now it's the end of the day and end of the week, so it's a different story, but on other time of the day where you don't have end of the day and end of the week, this is enough to, in end of the day, it would be like very strong short covering. Um, but yeah, this is it, this is it. It becomes very easy and these, these, the major benefit is that you can not only see the changes of behavior at key levels, but you can also get your reward target and make an informed decision because the, the base. So like if you have, for example, this right here, you see over here, it just breaks like that. I would know, okay, you know, where do I do account from? Where do I do account from? Okay, if I'm going to take the left-hand side, it's going to have to be from here, right? And then you can project it with the effect. Uh, maybe this is nine. Oh, shit, it is nine. Oh, my God. So nine, nine projection then climax and then that so now if this thing holds what is what I can do is if I intend to buy pullbacks right I can um, I can take this base and say oh okay I have a count of 12 which means what if this thing pulls back and holds off of this level I have a count all the way back up right so that that's valuable information uh, because in any investment, you want to know what is the potential of profitability. Is it a million dollars? Is it two million dollars? Or, you know, is it, what, what is the, you know, what is the profitability? So this will give you that investment or given your risk, how much do you stand to make? That creates an informed decision. It is dumbfounded just to get in because of a candle look a certain way, right? Instead, you need edge and you need your risk and you need your reward. And then finally, a method of executing so you can realize that reward. So this is giving you that. And I think that's extremely valuable. I mean, nobody would enter an investment if they don't understand how much money they uh, intend to make off of it. You know, in real life, you wouldn't uh, put your capital if you don't know what are the possible um, investment outcomes, right? What is your ROI? What is your P&L? Blah, blah, blah. So this is why I think this is a key, key, key. Um, I mean, it's very valuable. And this right here, at this cap of this uh, demand area, this right here was screaming by me and gave the potential at the highs. So you have like, let's say one, two, one, two or two or three uh, bo uh, boxes or X's. One, okay, let's see about here, it would be one, two. So about two or three max. Well, the reward is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So two or three um, X's of risk, nine X's of reward, potential, nine. That's a valid trade. Anyway, I'm done. Uh, strongly recommend to take a look into this. You can use waves as well, but there was a reason why Wyckoff uses a point figure along with waves, right? So um, I think there's some uh, amount of clarity uh, and also the levels are, it, it, I see this as a really good 
aid to what it is that you're already doing. So that's all I'll say about that. And also for the higher time frame, I was surprised when I was doing these counts, you know, the markets were going to those areas. This is, uh, I don't know what this is. This is a one point, right? Off of the base, when was this? This is in the March, in March to March 6, March 15 to Mar March 29th. So 15 days, the base projected this high, this base projected this high, and it had the change of behavior in it. So it had the change of behavior, it gave the base, it projected the high, and the thing actually went there, and this was the initial uh, warning of get the get out, like an initial warning that sun's coming in, and that was a bearish change of behavior, telling you market's broken, you take these counts, one off this line, the second one was off this line, and bang, bang, those are the targets that were met. So, it is, um, I think that there's an edge to it. And that's all I'll say about that. All right, take care, bye.